If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. During the closing days of the Second World War, six members of the Royal Canadian Air Force fighter squadron led by pilot Ted Stryker are killed because of a command decision he made years later in civilian life in Winnipeg, Manitoba. A guilt-stricken striker goes through many jobs, and his marriage is in trouble. Single quote. Striker finds a note at home. His wife Ellen has taken their young son Joey and is leaving him. Flying to Vancouver, he rushes to Winnipeg Airport to board the same flight. Cross Canada Airlines Flight 714. He asks his wife for one last chance. But Ellen says that she can no longer love a man she does not respect. Single quote. Stewardess Janet Turner begins the meal service, offering meat or fish as the choices. When a number of passengers and the co-pilot begin feeling sick, a doctor aboard determines that the fish is the cause. The pilot also becomes seriously ill and cannot fly the airplane. Before he passes out, he turns on the autopilot. Single quote. The stewardess determines that Stryker is the only passenger with flying experience. But he has not flown in 10 years and has never piloted an aircraft of this size. Owing to dense fog, Flight 714 cannot land at Calgary and any other airport east of the Canadian Rockies. But must continue on to Vancouver. Single quote. Stryker's superior in the war. The tough-minded Captain Trelevan is summoned to Vancouver Airport. Trelevan blames Stryker for the wartime deaths and has no faith in him. However, he has no choice but to work with him, getting him familiarized with the airplane and teaching him how to land. Ellen joins her husband in the cockpit to handle the radio. Quote, as they approach Vancouver, it is shrouded in fog. Trelevan orders him to circle, for hours if necessary, in the hope that it will lift. But Stryker decides to try to land immediately because passengers will die if they do not get medical treatment soon. Stryker makes a rough landing, but none of the passengers are injured. He has conquered his demons and regained the respect of both Ellen and Captain Trelevan. Single quote.